Hey everybody, welcome back to Part Out where we talk about off-road rigs and accessories. Now today I kind of want to give you a quick update on this guy right here. This, this is the cheapest Jeep Wrangler JK Rubicon that we bought on autotrader.com and we've gotten it all fixed up as far as all the driveline and all that stuff. Uh, we're running into a few issues with COVID-19 delays on all the parts that are getting shipped in and stuff so we're running a little bit behind on getting episode two out. There's a lot of stuff coming for this Jeep so definitely stay tuned. It's gonna be one beast of a rock crawler when we're done building it here in the next couple weeks. So uh, if you haven't seen episode one, go to our channel, check it out. It's, we bought the cheapest Rubicon JK part one. It's kind of funny. Uh, we, we just ran into a lot of issues with it. It's a pretty neat story behind this thing but Today we've got some other things going on. We are going to be working on my buddy Derek's Jeep, which is right behind me. He is a photographer and has been really getting into the kind of overland camping lifestyle and he bought a two-door JK as well. So what we're gonna do to kind of help him out is he wanted to figure out a good storage solution for the back of his Jeep. So look right here, guys. We've got this best top uh, rear rack system that's gonna go where the back seats used to be. We already ripped the back seats out of his Jeep and we're gonna actually make it so it's super accessible for him to load all his gear in there and hopefully have it pretty well organized because Derek is a gear nut and loves to buy a bunch of gear. So um, this kit looks like it has everything we need. We got all the mounting brackets here. We got obviously the big tray. Uh, by all means, I think we're ready to get this thing going. Hey Nate. Yeah. You forgot the intro. Shit. Derek in his natural habitat trying to understand instructions. All right. You see, you have husky wrenches. Is that for the, the husky individual? Those are for the husky individual. <laughs> <laughs> Super interesting. The sheer confusion on this guy is just There's staggering. Confusion. There's pictures on these instructions for crying out loud. How good is your reading? It's well to quite well. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm a good reader. I'm the best reader. Sorry. This is not a good television. This episode of Part Out is brought to you by Jockey Boxers. <laughs> While Boer's assembling some of the smaller pieces of the rack system here, I'm kind of looking under his Jeep because I like the way it's standing. Seeing a few JKS parts. Boer, what kind of lift do you have on this? I'm sorry? What kind of lift do you have? I have a three and a half inch J Venture J Rated kit, JKS. Oh, it's almost a JKS kit? Yes. That's sweet. We were just shopping on there for uh, the rock crawler project for the, the Jeep that we're gonna be using for rock crawling on the weekends. So we were on the JKS site. We saw all sorts of different styles of lift kits. This is pretty nice. So, yeah, I did notice that they have uh, uh, different rated lift kits for different uses. What's the, J you said this was J, Ven J Venture? The J Venture. Okay, what, is that like, pretty much, uh, is that like more of an entry kit or is that, what is that? Yes. Okay, so I mean that just pretty much fits what you're using because you're just doing trails and... Trails and uh, I'm on the road a lot. This is my daily driver, so... Oh. I dig it, looks pretty cool. All right, I just hope that this supports my load. Load. <laughs> just saying it more doesn't make it more funny. <laughs> load. Uh, you, you can tell this is a best top product by the way it is. Are you wrapping a part out shirt? Ooh, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> now when we first got this in the mail, we, uh, we thought it was a metal construction. I thought the tray might be, yes. Yep, but it's actually a really high strength, uh, looks like ABS plastic setup. I actually personally think this is actually better than if it were a metal tray. Um, I feel like if this was metal, obviously it'd weigh a lot more and stuff and kind of just unnecessary weight, but it also kind of rattle around with all the metal clanking against each other if you don't actually have everything 100% tightened, uh, which obviously in Jeeps things get knocked loose. I think this is a pretty good setup. Uh, it also looks really almost like an OE finish to it. So it's got all sorts of little mounting spots. It's, I think we'll be able to fit a bunch of stuff on here.
That is kind of nice that they have those giant knob bolts. Like, I feel like that makes things a little easier. I think it's gonna be really easy to take on and off. Is that about it? I think so. Sweet. This is pretty legit. Like, this is a, I mean, it just looks like it's meant to be there. Like, this is a really, this is really cool. Very sturdy. Hey, grab a tape measure real quick. Let's see, like, how much height we've got going on here. We've got about 20 inches underneath. That should be plenty. I think we should probably load it up and see how it works. How much stuff can we fit the two door? Now, what Boer's loading in the bottom here, he's a, he likes to go for nature hikes and stuff like that with all his camera stuff. So he's putting on in his uh, camping gear on the bottom. So he's got his clothes, tent, cot, some folding chairs, and some other miscellaneous stuff. So typically at this point, you're like, I'm out of space, but nope. Check that out. To the next, this is the next level. We're taking this to the next level. <laughs> so up on top, he can keep all his camera gear separate from all his living quarters gear. Is that what you would call it, living quarters? Like, who talks like that? You do, <laughs> Apparently, I talk that way. <laughs> That's pretty cool. For, for people that drive two-door Jeeps, will completely understand how awesome this is. For everybody else that drives a four-door or has a truck, they're like, this is pointless. But look at this. Just, and you still have more room back here for taller items. So, I mean, this is it's pretty sweet. Is your seat all the way back there? Yes. Okay, so yeah, there's plenty of plenty of room for the seats to go back. Now I'm kind of curious. Grab the tape measure. I kind of want to see like what our total space behind the seat to the Let rack me is. Double check and make sure. All right. Now here. it's all the way back. That's about how I ride. So I have a Molly pouch up here, so that's going to give a few inches. But does that make you extra cool to have a Molly pouch on the back of your it seat? It does. Okay, nine and a half inches roughly. Yeah. With a comfortable driving. Yeah. No, this is pretty sweet. That is sturdy. The whole Jeep is moving when I... Because <laughs> you're a Husky guy, right? I'm a Husky guy. I'm kidding. We like to use Milwaukee tools. Awesome, Derek. Well, hey, I'm happy for you, dude. This is a, this is a great step for you to do your summertime adventures. I can fit everything I need to in this vehicle now. It's my daily driver, and I don't need to buy a truck. I mean, no, you're going to probably buy a truck. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be a wrap for today. Um, if you want to check this out, obviously, you go to beststop.com. They've got all the information you need to know on this product. Uh, from what we can tell, it's going to be very useful for Derek and his off-road adventures as far as where he's going to go hiking and all that stuff, taking some cool nature pictures. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. We'll see you guys next time. Part out! God!